Well, welcome to the Bowling Point. I'm Richie Ware, and this is Brian Grindstaff. I know you know his face. Brian actually came to me and said, hey, we haven't talked about sample coolers. I'm like, yeah, out of the thousands of videos out there, we've never talked about the sample coolers. So, right. Awesome uh, topic, and why don't we just get started? Right. So what we've got pictured here is actually a pin separator brand sample cooler. Um, sample coolers are basically used to um, allow people to take water samples from the boiler. As you go and you do your water treatment, you have to take samples to make sure that the the water treatment you're doing is working for the boiler, right? Right. You need to check it every so often. You need to make sure that you have a program in place and that you're actually verifying that the, sa the, the water treatment is actually working, right? Yeah. So the sample cooler is a station that's piped up to the boiler where uh, it can cool the sample, uh, one, uh, to a temperature that is adequate for you to do the testing, yeah. and two, for it to be safe to handle. Okay. Um, especially the test tubes and things like that, it's not over temp. Because these right. boilers, you know, you talk about a 100 PSI boiler, a 100 PSI boiler is 338 degrees. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that's that's very hot. Yeah. Uh, even when that condenses into water and things like that, it's still over 212 degrees. Sure. Um, you you want to be able to make sure that that sample's cool for you to be able to handle. Right. Right. Um, so it's a very important thing to have um, for you to be able to take these samples. And the the way that this works and the way it's selected is first you want to have a sample cooler that's rated for. Uh, the pressure of the boiler. Okay. You want to make sure that it's rated for the samples that you're taking. So the pressure and temperature rating is very crucial. Um, in the boiler industry, uh, it's pretty standard uh, to use like a, a, a pin that we have pictured here or a Madden or some other brands. Um, and they typically come, the, the way they generally work is you've got a sample line, like the stainless steel line coming in here. Right. That's actually taking the water in through uh, the inlet of the sample cooler, uh -huh. and that comes in an inlet, and inside this, it has a coil. And that coil can be made out of different things. It can be copper, it can be stainless steel, um, but it's important that that is all rated for the boiler as well. Okay. Um, and what it is, it's a coil that is inside this vessel. So along with the sample that comes in in this coil, you have a cooling water line that comes and pipes in to water around that uh, coil sure. and submerges it, and that's where you get your cooling from. Okay. So, like, if you're taking a sample here, you would open up your uh, water supply, make sure that you have cold water flow coming through this, um, take your sample uh, line and open it, make sure that you have uh, a place for that to flow through. Right. Uh, and then you actually have a valve here that when you're ready to take your sample you can actually open that valve and take your sample. Okay. You also have a temperature gauge here, so you can make you sure, <laughs> you know, before you go put your hands here. Right. Normally, you will have a line here that kind of protects everything, so sure. you can take a sample, let it run for a little bit, make sure it's the temperature that you want it to be before you take your sample, yep. um, and then take your sample once it's where you need it to be. Okay. Um, you know, I, I talked about the coil that's inside of it. They make those out of stainless steel and copper. Um, we're talking about boiler applications, but you can also use sample coolers in different scenarios. Um, some people use them in chemical processes and other things as well. Um, making sure that that coil and that the housing for that sample cooler is rated for possibly chemicals that you're testing instead. Yep. Uh, like for example, stainless steel doesn't play well with chlorine. If you have high chlorine content, you may not want to select or run your piping in, in stainless, you may want to do that in a copper or, or a okay. carbon steel instead. Okay. So knowing what you're using it for, uh, making sure that it's rated for the pressures and temperatures, um, all important stuff. Oh yeah, awesome. Yep. Well, now we have some information on sample coolers. Brian, always appreciate your knowledge. And if you ever need this guy, make sure you give him guy, him a call as well as his guys in the boilerwarehouse.com. Um, as well, you know, it's not just boilerwarehouse.com. You can just call and order parts too. Right. It <clears throat> doesn't have to be on e-commerce. So Right. No, we uh, play nice on all levels. We, yeah. we like to do business the way the customer wants to do business. You want to call us, call us. You want to email us, email us. You want to get on boilerwarehouse.com and use the live chat. Use the live chat. We've got guys. It's, it's not a answering service. It's not automated. 
the guys that you're calling into are the same guys that monitor the chats. So yeah, yeah. you can do those and actually talk to a real person real time. Yeah, and that's awesome. Right. Before we go, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, make sure you're watching our videos, share it, and we appreciate you hanging out with us. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.